Ladies and gentlemen, it is your amazing host here. It is Team Rara. And how are you doing on this Friday's edition? I am doing very well. Anyway, I have social media accounts. And don't worry, I'll discuss that after this part of the video is over. Capiche? Good. Now, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my lovely thoughts, my opinions on this subject, and of course, the link will be down below, or the arc will be down below. Let's get into this. Now, before Jeff Hardy decided to sign with AEW, Dovey and Jeff Hardy had a little incident, okay? They remember the time, live event, at the house show, however you want to say it. Some people think he was on drugs or wore out, run, run down. I don't know what's the real reason that we assuming he was on drugs, but... He took a drug test and it took forever for his results. But in the meantime, W decided to release him because um, he told W he does not need any rehab and all this stuff. So they think in their heads, yep, he's doing it again. Something stupid, you know, in their, in their minds. Of course, they don't say it to Jeff Hardy. So they had no other choice of releasing him because... He don't want to go to rehab. So eventually his brother, Matt Hardy, says on his Twitch stream, if they finally got the results from his um, DNA or whatever I said earlier. And guess what? It was all clean. So they felt so stupid. So when they found out he was clean, they contact um, Jeff Hardy if he... Wants to be part of the 2022 W Hall of Fame class. And guess what? He denied it. That is great news because all that BS that W puts uh, Jeff Hardy through. What a mess, you know? Now he's doing good things in AEW. He's signed with AEW. I don't know. For a long contract, ex long term. Until he's done with his wrestling career, or will he ever go back to WWE and go into the WWE Hall of Fame? I think between Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy, I don't think they will ever, ever go back with WWE because WWE really burned the bridges with Jeff Hardy and himself and the company. They're just my theory, okay? And another thing is, before I go on this topic with him, before they let him go, he was chasing for the 24-7 title, I think. He was in some stupid feuds, I'm sorry. Stupid feuds, stupid segments. Why you in the hell are you going to give this guy one more title run for the main belt? At least you could beat, let him beat Roman Reigns, for a cry out loud. But he had no desire of doing that. So instead of having Jeff Hardy give one more title run, you're going to give it to Brock Lesnar at Mania? That make no sense. Title versus title. I'm okay with title versus title. Winner take all, however, you're going to say it for Mania coming up. But we all know that's not going to last forever. Trust me. This is WWE we talking about. Now, back in the day, maybe WWE will go with a promise. But these days, they don't stick with a promise. Okay. Okay, Dobby did contact Jeff Hardy earlier this year, like I said in this video, about making a return, including the 2022 Hall of Fame. I never knew about returning to the company. I knew about um, be part of the 2022 um, Hall of Fame. Of course, he denied it. I would too if I was Jeff Hardy. All that stuff um, that we put Jeff Hardy through, no, no, W. That's not the way you put a wrestler into the Hall of Fame. Very stupid, okay? 
So you guys could check this out. I'm assuming they mentioned this way before Taker got involved. So you guys check this out. I'm so glad that he's done with this crappy company. I don't know why I'm still watching it, but I guess I'm still very loyal. But I know a lot of you will give me crap because I'm, I'm still watching this. Hey, people, back in the 90s, was the F any good? No. Some things were good. Some things were bad. Okay? So, you no. Know, I hate when people say, you should watch other things besides Dory. I do, but non wrestling related, you know? So, just don't give me a hard time. If you liked my video on these, that's all. Just don't tell me. I hate when people force me to watch things I don't want to watch, you know? I watch. Let me give you a quick. I watch some things with AEW, but I'm not really pumped up about the show, you know? That's what I gotta say. I don't want to watch it. So, I, I flip a lot of channels. So, that's all I gotta say. Leave a comment. Put some positive feedback. Don't give me a hard time. Whatever I'm saying. Anyway, now, if you have Twitch, you guys could follow me on Twitch. Team Ray 32 Maybe you want to play against me on the W2K22 or whatever. I don't care. Just let's get this. Let's make this deal, okay? Anyway, you could follow me on uh, TikTok. Um... Instagram, all my other social media accounts are down below. And of course, last but not least, my Facebook like page is called The Rob Show. The link will be down below. Double click it. Double click it. And then you and I can make arrangements. Don't come on board to make fun of me. We could discuss the upcoming video games, the upcoming movies, sports, food, anything was on your mind. If you want to discuss about politics, you could discuss it. I don't discuss that crap. Sorry. I don't understand it. That's why I don't discuss it. And another thing I already don't discuss about religion. Okay. That's all I got to say. But if you want to discuss it, I will listen the best I can. I'm not going to. I try not to interrupt you. Okay. That's my goal. Not to interrupt my guests. Have a good one. I used to interrupt my guests all the time. And I do apologize. Okay. Have a good one. And I'll see you guys tonight. Later.